My name is Boyd Hemphill. I'm the CTO of Victory CTO until I'm the director of cloud ops in a couple weeks for contrast security. Um, this is about complexity in a cautionary tale. I was inspired by Paul and a couple of the design talks last week. I was inspired by Matthew and the chaos talk. I was just inspired again by Dan. We are running towards Kubernetes and microservices all because we reason about microservices as self-similar things, okay? We're looking at these systems and we're saying, hey, they remove complexity from the developers and make them go faster. But one of the things that we're not doing is we're not asking questions about what that means. For example, are the developers a slow group in the value delivery chain? If they're not, why microservices? Why take the pain? If they are, what are the consequences of a microservice architecture? We've heard about observability. We drill down and we notice these self-similar complexities in the first level of these details, right? Microservices are just teeny monoliths and they just talk to each other. That's true, insofar as it goes. But the irony is, clearly, we understand what's happening here, right? No, we just hand wave communication. There was an entire talk on using Kafka just a little bit ago up here. Oh, because Kafka's easy. <laughs> this is intellectual laziness on all of your parts, and mine as well, okay? What we do is we hand wave, we use the Agile method, and we say, we're in such a hurry to join the cargo cult and write the code that we'll just iterate. And what we forget is the standards that Luke Sneeringer was talking about. We need those ahead of time. Okay, so this is Cantor dust, another kind of fractal, if you recognize the Mandelbrot said earlier. I assert that complexity is rarely removed when we make these leaps forward. Rather, it is displaced. And folks, it's coming right at us, the operations people because we don't have the observability we need. This alone is just a time series. We have the monolith, we decompose it, we decompose it. There are two other dimensions here. There's time in the decomposition, and there's all the communication paths. In reality, models really are simple. They are, by definition, less complex than reality. So you have Cantor dust, easy. I can understand a Sierpinski gasket. I can understand a, <clears throat> a Menger sponge. But that last one, a percolation set that actually models reality, that's hard math, folks. That's, again, is an example of intellectual laziness. We as engineers, we tend to just say, oh, yeah, I got that. Let me start coding. But why are they doing it? So I want to make an argument here about developer tools. I'm going to define for the moment DevOps as our ability as operations people to adopt really great processes that developers had and use them for ourselves. Turn everything into code is a great example. The IDE is one of those. Developer tools have evolved for decades. And <laughs> remember when you used to launch Eclipse and you'd cause a local brownout in your neighborhood? Yeah, because you could. <laughs> That's Paul Zarkowski's laptop, by the way. <laughs> All right. So developers have debuggers. Now, I have to admit, I don't mean many developers anymore that know how to use a debugger, or even that there is one at their disposal, for God's sake. But in a monolith, the developer takes on the complexity. Right? They have the power of the debugger to use the code. Okay? Complexity didn't disappear when we moved to a microservice. It just moved to the SRE. And what is the, what is the SRE's debugger? Can anybody answer that? Yeah, production, right. Okay? It doesn't exist. Then there's the code profiler. So if 20% of developers today that I meet know what a debugger is, about 5% know what a profiler is, and maybe 1% have actually used one. In a monolith, developers are able to easily identify many performance issues through something like Kcash grind, for example. But the complexity, again, didn't disappear. It moved to the SRE. And what tool does the SRE have to profile a microservice architecture? They do not. They do not yet. And in fact, the gentleman from Elastic just pointed out that observability is more necessary. Again, another inspiration. Thank you. Intellectual laziness. We cannot iterate these things. We need a standard that says we are going to expose non-functional requirements, non-functional information ahead of the game. What new com so a few questions for you. What new complexities move from development towards QA, towards security, and towards operation? What processes are we missing that we need to replicate from the developers into the operations teams so that we can more effectively run these systems in production. Finally, what tools do we need? And what does a microservice actually need? A single microservice, what does it need to look like from a non-functional perspective? If you ever do a Google search on the Illities, you'll see it turns to the Wikipedia page. And so I'd like to leave you with this thought. Complexity is what smart people do. Simple is what smart people who are responsible for the outcome do. Let's strive to simple.